Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 29. In this video, the advanced puzzle solving technique called empty rectangle will be discussed. Before we begin showing you the algorithm for finding an empty rectangle pattern in a Sudoku puzzle, we will first show you what it is we are looking to find. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Finding and using an empty rectangle technique in a puzzle is similar to a skyscraper. Just like with a skyscraper, you begin by finding the first half of an X-wing and then look across at adjacent blocks. For this puzzle, we begin by highlighting the possible two candidates. We have found the first half of an X-wing in row 3, as highlighted with black rectangles around each cell. We looked at the adjacent blocks from cell 3, 3, and we found what we call an AB switch in block 7, which is highlighted with a black rectangle. The way the AB switch works is in block 7, the possible 2 candidate is either in row 7 or 9, or it is in row 8, as shown with the AB designation. What determines which switch is active is the value in cell 3, 3, which is still highlighted with a black rectangle. Next, we identify the kill zone. We've highlighted the kill zone in red, and the non-possible 2 candidate, which is highlighted in dark red. The kill zone is the intersection of the B part of our switch and the other corner of the first half of the X-Wing found on row 3 as shown. Let's consider the logic for how the empty rectangle pattern works. First, let's consider there is a 2 in cell 3, 3. This means there cannot be a 2 in cell 3, 5 as shown with the X. Since there is a 2 in cell 3, 3, there can't be a 2 in the A part of our AB switch as shown. This means the 2 must be in the B part of our AB switch as shown. The B part of the AB switch having a value of 2 means the non-possible candidate in our kill zone is dead as shown. Next, let's reset all the logic and start out with a 2 as the value in cell 3, 5 as shown. Immediately, the non-possible candidate in our kill zone is dead as shown. This also means there cannot be a value of 2 in cell 3, 3. This means there must be a 2 in either cell making up the A part of our AB switch as shown. And finally, this also means there cannot be a value of 2 in the B part of the switch, which does not matter anyway since the non-possible candidate is already dead. So both possibilities for the 2 candidate in row 3 results in the non-possible candidate in our kill zone being killed. We remove the non-possible 2 candidate from the puzzle. Next we are going to go through the algorithm for finding an empty rectangle pattern in a Sudoku puzzle in great detail. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When we are looking for an empty rectangle, we go through each of the possible candidates. And with each possible candidate, we go through all the rows and then all the columns. As we traverse, we are looking for the first half of an X-wing, or what is called a conjugate pair. We start by highlighting all the possible 1 candidates. Then we begin scanning the rows looking for the first half of an X-wing. That is, a row having exactly two cells having the same possible candidates in two different blocks. Row 1 does not have any possible 1 candidates. Row 2 has two possible 1 candidates, but they are in the same block. The same with row 3. Row 4 has four cells with possible 1 candidates, so it can't be the first half of an X-wing pattern. Row 5 has four cells. Row 6 has none. And row 7 has 3, which is too many. Row 8 has 4 cells, which is again too many. And row 9 has no cells with the possible 1 candidate, so there are no X-wing patterns on that row. So next we are going to start looking at columns. Column 1 has 2 cells with a possible 1 candidate, and does look like the first half of an X-wing pattern. So now we will look for an AB switch in a nearby block, starting with the top left corner, or cell 2, 1. We first look for an AB switch in block 2, which does not have one. Again, once we find an AB switch, it will become apparent what we are looking for in the puzzle. Please be patient as we teach you the algorithm. Next, we look at block 3, 
Although block 3 has two cells having a possible one candidate, they do not form an AB switch pattern. Now we switch to the bottom corner or cell 7, 1 as a starting point and look for an AB switch in a nearby block. We look for an AB switch in block 8, which does not have one. We then look for an AB switch in block 9. Although the possible one candidates in the cells of block 9 do form an AB switch with row 7 and row 8, this is not what we are looking for. Since we did not find an AB switch, we do not have to look for a kill zone. This also means the first half of an X-wing in column 1 is not part of an empty rectangle pattern. We cycle through the remaining columns looking for the first half of an X-wing pattern. But none of the remaining columns have what we are looking for. So next we highlight the possible two candidates. We cycle through all the rows looking for the first half of an X-wing pattern. We find the first half of an X-wing pattern in row 3. We look for an AB switch in block 5 for cell 4, 4, but there is no AB switch in block 5. We look for an AB switch in block 8 for cell 4, 4, but there is no AB switch in block 8. We look for an AB switch in block 6 for cell 4, 9, but there is no AB switch in block 6. We then look for an AB switch in block 9 for cell 4, 9, but there is no AB switch in block 9. The conditions needed for finding an empty rectangle are not met for row 3. We continue looking to row 4 and the other remaining rows for an empty rectangle pattern. Next we iterate over the columns looking for the first half of an X-wing. We find the first half of an X-wing pattern in column 4. We look for an AB switch in block 1 for cell 3, 4, but there is no AB switch in block 1. We look for an AB switch in block 3 for cell 3, 4, but there is no AB switch in block 3. We look for an AB switch in block 7 for cell 8, 4, but there is no AB switch in block 7. We look for an AB switch in block 9 for cell 8, 4, but there is no AB switch in block 9. So there is no empty rectangle pattern with the first half of an X-wing found in column 4. We continue looking through the columns. We find the first half of an X-wing pattern in column 6. We look for an AB switch in block 1 for cell 2, 6, but there is no AB switch in block 1. We look for an AB switch in block 3 for cell 2, 6, but there is no AB switch in block 3. We look for an AB switch in block 7 for cell 8, 6, but there is no AB switch in block 7. We look for an AB switch in block 9 for cell 8, 6, but there is no AB switch in block 9. So there is no empty rectangle pattern with the first half of the X-wing found in column 6. We continue looking through the columns. We do not find any empty rectangle patterns with the possible two candidates. Next we iterate through all the rows and columns for the possible three candidates. We do not find any empty rectangle patterns with the possible three candidates. Next we iterate through all the rows and columns for the possible four candidates. We find the first half of an X-wing pattern in row 2. We look for an AB switch in block 5 for cell 2, 5, but there is no AB switch in block 5. We look for an AB switch in block 8 for cell 2, 5. This time we find an AB switch in block 8. The way the AB switch works is in block 8, the possible 4 candidate is either in row 7 or in row 8, as shown with the AB designation. What determines which switch is active is the value in cell 2, 5, which is highlighted with a black rectangle. Next, we identify the kill zone. We've highlighted the kill zone in red. The non-possible 4 candidate is highlighted in dark red. The kill zone is the intersection of the B part of our switch and the other corner of the first half of the X-wing we found on row 2 as shown. We remove the non-possible 4 candidate from the puzzle. This may seem like a lot of work to eliminate just one possible candidate, but many times this is the difference in finishing a puzzle. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. In this puzzle, we've already checked for empty rectangles with the possible 1s, 2s, and 3 candidates. The possible 4 candidates are now highlighted. We've already checked all the rows and found nothing. We are now checking the first column. 
We find the first half of an X-wing pattern in column one, which is now highlighted with black rectangles around each corner cell. To the right of the top corner, we find an AB switch in block three as shown. We then identify the kill zone and the non-possible candidate is highlighted in dark red. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. In this puzzle, we've already checked for empty rectangles with the possible one candidates. The possible two candidates are now highlighted. This time, we find the first half of an X-wing pattern in row 8, which is now highlighted with black rectangles around each corner cell. Above the bottom left corner of the X-wing half, we find an AB switch in block 5 as shown. We identify the kill zone and the non-possible candidate is highlighted in dark red. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. In this puzzle, we've already checked for empty rectangles with the possible 1 through 5 candidates. The possible 6 candidates are now highlighted. We do not find any empty rectangles with the rows. We find the first half of an X-wing pattern in column 7, which is now highlighted with black rectangles around each corner. To the left of the top right corner of the X-wing half, we find an AB switch in block 4 as shown. We then identify the kill zone, and the non-possible candidate is highlighted in dark red. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please take some time to support the Exodoku. Thank you for your support. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle with the highlighted candidate. Identify the X-wing half, the AB switch, the kill zone, and the non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle with the highlighted candidate. Identify the X-wing half, the AB switch, the kill zone, and the non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the empty rectangle. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 29. Thank you for watching.